after they say their child was wrongfully taken from them. The parents use medical marijuana, and they believe the court's decision to take their daughter away was against the law. Anthony Isabella has more. You immediately return this infant to her parents and adhere to the Medical Marijuana Act. A strong message to the Department of Human Services just four days after Stephen Maria Green of Lansing helplessly watched as their infant daughter Bree was taken from their care. <laughs> The reason given, the state-sanctioned medical marijuana user's home was too dangerous for their six-month-old because of the plants inside. It would place our residents at a higher rate of armed robbery and therefore was an imminent danger for my child to be removed. That reason was not good enough for the Greens and on Tuesday they took the fight for Bree to the doorstep of Child Protective Services along with a crowd of supporters. <laughs> Their attorney says the decision to take Bree violates the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act. A parent can only be um, deprived of custody if there's an unreasonable danger that's articulated and substantiated. This was not an unreasonable danger. The DHS, which includes Child Protective Services, couldn't comment specifically on the Green's case, but did say any court decision for removal is made in the child's best interest. We would look at parenting as being really the key factor in that investigation from our standpoint. Uh, what kind of choices? Uh, are the parents making when it comes to the children. According to the court order, it was the Greens' decision to continue to use marijuana after they were told not to, all while facing felony charges in Oakland County that made it dangerous for Bree to remain in their care. Her father disagrees. A lot of people have, have visited Bree. You know, everybody knows how well cared for Bree is. In Lansing, Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. Maria Green says that the initial claim that they were unfit parents came from her ex-husband. Bree is currently staying with Maria's mother, and the Lansing medical marijuana attorney says that the felony charge shouldn't make it too tough for the couple to get Bree back. The Greens will go before an Ingham County judge on October 7th to try to get their daughter back. Well, Jackson.